Ready to roll, Cyrus? Yes. All right, we're going to bring some Fast and Furious at you, starting with uh, Tyson Alger from The Athletic. Awesome. Hey, Cyrus, like, talk, talk to you early during the quarantine period when you were talking about just, like, how much you were investing in your body, just working out at home and everything. And, you know, that at that point, that was about four months ago now. Just how, how did that process continue for you, and, and how do you feel now four days into um, actually, like, putting that onto the field? Yeah, yeah, I feel amazing. Um, I, I cut some weight, too. Um, lost about five pounds um, and put on some muscle, some healthy weight. So uh, I feel great. I actually uh, went down to San Diego, even purchased my own Airbnb and, and, and really just stayed in SoCal just to dedicate myself to, to, uh, to working out. And what I really worked on was just straight line running and getting faster. So, yeah. Next question comes from uh, AJ Jacobson at Rivals. AJ. Hey, I was waiting to get <laughs> unmuted there. How are you doing, Cyrus? I'm doing well, sir. Nice, very nice. Hey, um, you know, you're you're becoming a veteran of this offense now. So with this first year, and you guys are mostly installed with this uh, first year offense of Moorhead, describe how Duck fans are going to see differences this year with this offense versus what they've seen in the past. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, really, we're taking a lot of shots in practice, and that's what I've noticed. Um, Tyler and, and the other the other quarterbacks are they're they're opening it up and and it's it's awesome. Um, same same philosophy of you know of the Smash Mouth football. Um, I think that's always going to be here as long as Crystal Ball is here, and I hope it is. Um, but really, just opening up and taking shots and 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 going downfield. Um, I, I know we really want to start fast. Um, so yeah. Next questions from Ryan Thorburn of the Register Guard. Hey, Cyrus. Uh, obviously, during a normal year, you guys would have had a full spring and you would have been working out together all summer. Uh, so how is that chemistry reset with five new offensive linemen and new quarterback going in, in a short amount of time with, you know, a veteran skill set, especially in the running back room? Yeah, I mean, first of all, just the team chemistry in general um, off the field. That's something that we kind of lacked this year. And that's kind of I guess it's been a, a challenge, not really a struggle. Um, you know, we weren't allowed, we were limited to team activities and, and, and just really just bonding. But as far as the O-line, I mean, a lot of those guys um, were learning from, from our previous O-line last year and, and we know how great they are. So um, as far as the chemistry, you know, it, it's going really well. Um, the, first, the first two days without pads, it was just a little iffy um, because we didn't have too much push off the ball. But but really, as soon as we strap the pads on, I mean, I, I still feel like I'm running behind the same old line. So it's the same. And as far as Shuck, um, he's very confident. Um, you know, he was under Herbert's wing. So, you know, he has a lot of the same contributions and he's going to do well. Um, and, and as far as uh, as Anthony Brown, too, you know, he's a veteran, not not in this program, but, you know, he's an older guy and, and he's taking lead and it's going really well. I'm really excited for this year. Next question is from Nicole Brown of Gridiron Girl. Hi, Cyrus. Good to see you. Hey, just um, just with all the uncertainty of this offseason, how did you – what kind of things did you do to stay focused? And and also, were you able to sort of step into a leadership role and, and with some of the younger, younger guys now that you're a veteran? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it, it was it was really hard just because we lacked, you know, the, the team events. But as far as, I mean, something as little as group chats, Zoom meetings, anything I could do uh, really just to reach out to some of the younger guys, um, you know, I, I tried to do. Um, reached out a lot to Noah Sewell. Um, I think we just have that natural Polynesian bond. Um, so I was checking up on him a lot. But just making sure everyone's good. Um, I, I know it's really hard as a, as a true freshman to come into this because this is something we've never experienced um, so I can only imagine coming straight from high school. Um, it's it's a bit easier for us because because we're uh, we're adjusted and we're used to everything. So just doing anything I can, and I'm gonna you know now that we're together, it's kind of nice, and I'm gonna keep pushing on them. And and you know in practice we're going hard, but at the same time you know I'm reminding them you know have fun, enjoy the process because um, honestly my my years here are flying by, and I, I I just it feels like yesterday that I I just got on the campus, um, so. That's all I'm really doing. 
Next question, Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Hey, Cyrus. How's it going? Doing well. <clears throat> hey, uh, obviously we've seen the three-headed monster use uh, CJ and Travis a fair amount. The younger guys, Sean, Javon, and Trey, who just got here, haven't seen them much. What can you maybe say about their running styles and, and maybe how they're coming along? Yeah, for sure. Um, you can really tell who's been who's been working hard um, in this off season, and um, I think you know those three the three younger guys have. But uh, Sean Dollars to me is really really uh, he's just he, he's 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 different this year. Um, he has a lot more hustle to him. Um, he's not as fatigued. And um, I know he worked a lot on his running as well. Um, and just mentality-wise, too, I think he got that year under his belt. Um, so, you know, he's coming aggressive and he, he's hitting people. And he's picking up blocks, which is huge in our offense. Um, Trey Benson, super athletic kid. Um, it's amazing how athletic he is um, at such a young age. And even just the way he's built, too. Um, I mean, he looks like he's been in our program for a few years. Uh, he's around the same weight as me, same height. He's fluid. Uh, Javon, too, he's a lot more comfortable um, in this offense. Um, last year, he was running a bit high in practice. Now he's lowering his pads. He's bending. Um, everyone's just taking all of Mastro's advice and really just using it on the field. So those three guys, I'm excited for those three. Next question comes from Matt Preem, 247 Sports. Hi, Cyrus. Hey, hey. Uh, kind of curious, difference between this year's offense and, and – previous few offenses you guys have run in your time here and just what's it been like to have to pick up an offense with that's new with four spring practices and, and that's basically it yeah I mean it's it's kind of nice because we during the quarantine period we we had a lot of time to go over installs um so as far as mentally um the first few days of camp have almost felt repetitive which is in, in, in a good way um just because we've been we've been, on those zoom meetings we've been hitting uh, the new installs a lot. Um, as far as on the field, um, it's just great just because everything, I mean, everything works. It makes sense. Um, it's a very fluid offense. I'm very comfortable. Um, and I always feel like there's, there's always a plan B or C in that offense. So somehow I always feel like something's going to work out. Um, a lot of RPOs run, run pass option. Um, so it feels great. And I, I love that we're taking shots because it even softens up the defense for the run game and vice versa. So, next question, James Krapia, the Oregonian. Kind of following up on that, Cyrus. Uh, going back to when Joe was first hired, do you look into? Did, did you at the time look into Mississippi State and see how he used the Kylan Hill a lot out of the backfield? I mean, you guys, you guys went to CJ and you a, a good bit in the receiving game, a little bit less last year, more so in eighteen. But he went to Hill a lot in the receiving game, and yeah, saw a little bit in spring the. I mean, it's not giving anything away. Clearly, there's a little bit more of an option run element in this offense than there was previously. Can you speak to just what the differences really are between this offense and the previous offense? Yeah, for sure. I mean, although we're taking a lot of shots, um, what's emphasized huge in our offense is, is, is checking down to the running backs, um, which, of course, I you know, I love. <laughs> Who wouldn't, um, especially at my position? But really, honestly, everything is just is just opening up. It's it's like I said before, it's, it's awesome to see how fluid everything is, is going. And especially for the first four, you know, four real practices that we've had, I mean, besides spring, uh, we're doing really well. And, and I think that's a huge sign. I mean, there's fundamentals. We haven't been hitting against each other and I haven't hit somebody in a few months. So I get things as bending and, and, you know, hands inside and all that. But as far as, as the offense, um, I'm, I'm super excited about. So yeah, a lot of love to the running backs. That's all the time we have for Cyrus. Appreciate it, Cyrus. Appreciate you guys. God bless.